Hey, everybody. It's Craig back in the sports cabin, and we continue, of course, with Click 2 Houston. Let me straighten the uh, camera out a little bit here. I, uh, I'm going to speak softly here because uh, we've got a big golf tournament coming up here in a, another month or so, the end of the month. The Shell Houston Open will once again have Phil in the field, and as part of pumping up the overall community about coming out to the golf course, HGA told us yesterday that Mr. Mickelson will once again grace us with his presence when those little white balls start flying at the Golf Club of Houston. Phil could use a win. He hasn't had one since 2013, but I'm in the group that says we're not going to take up a collection for him just yet. His career earnings are all, almost $82 million, and he's probably made another $82 million in endorsements and, and showing up fees. So he, of course, is nicknamed Lefty, and I'm not sure you knew it. I wasn't sure of this. The only thing he does left-handed is hit a golf ball. Everything else, right-handed. So I guess we should be calling him Righty. It's very popular and really so in our fair city. We love to hear how much he likes coming to Houston. Of course, his wife was treated, uh, Amy was treated here for cancer, and we know how difficult it was for Phil to get through that terrible experience. He's the guy who signs autographs. He poses for all the pictures. He does everything you want a superstar to do. Of course, he did make those negative headlines back in 2014 when we found out the FBI and the SEC, no, not the Southeast Conference, the Securities and Exchange people, were investigating Phil as to having had possible insider information on some stock, quite a bit of stock. Well, nothing ever, Phil took his lumps in the media, but not all that bad and ended up writing a big check to uh, zero everything out like the rest of us do at income tax time. I was quite surprised that that potential disaster went away as quickly as it did. But I like the guy, and I hope he wins before he gets to Houston, and I hope he wins Houston. He's done it before. The one tourney, though, where he really wants to win is the U.S. Open. He has finished that thing second a record six times. And let's face it, that alone should have told the Fed something. If he had insider information, he would have won that tournament, maybe even twice. This is Craig Roberts on Click2Houston.com.